or Aberrant Action is a new rocket-assisted sidearm that's arrived in Episode Echoes in Destiny 2. The rocket-assisted sidearms are very, very popular weapons. We've seen an Arc one, we've seen a Strand one. This one is Solar, or today I'm going to take a closer look at the weapon, the stats, the perks, the god rolls, plus also how to get Aberrant Action in Destiny 2. Okay, let's dive straight into the crucial information, that is how to get this weapon. So, Aberrant Action is a weapon added to Destiny 2 as part of Episode Echoes. That means you can play Echoes activities to get it, and that includes the Battlegrounds activities. You can also focus Echoes Engrams that fail safe in the helm. And it's worth noting as well, this one is a craftable weapon. So make sure you get five red boards of the weapon, extract the deep sight, and then you can craft your very own version at the Enclave on Savathun's Throne World. Well, next up, let's have a closer look at Aberrant Action. It's a legendary energy sidearm with a rocket-assisted frame, meaning the sidearm fires self-propelled rocket ammunition, and projectiles explode on impact for high damage. So looking at the stats, we've got 35 for a blast radius, 56 for velocity, 48 for stability, 45 for handling, 28 for reload speed, 11 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 100 rounds per minute sidearm with 9 in the magazine. The origin trait here is Radio Lara Transposer, so rapid final blows cause targets to explode in a pool of Radio Larian fluid. Next up, let's have a look at the Aberrant Action God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Volatile Launch, High Velocity Rounds, Beacon Rounds and Incandescent would be very, very good. The so Volatile Launch greatly increases the blast radius and slightly decreases handling speed and also slightly decreases projectile speed too. Then you've got High Velocity Rounds, so it increases projectile speed and increases reload speed. You've got Beacon Rounds, so final blows of the weapon grant your projectiles tracking and dealing further damage extends the duration. And then you've got Incandescent, so defeating a target spreads Scorch to those nearby, and more powerful combatants and opposing guardians cause Scorch in a larger radius. So Incandescent is going to be a whole load of fun on this weapon, so if you want a decent PvE roll, I definitely recommend getting Incandescent. For PvP, on the other hand, Quick Launch, High Velocity Rounds, Field Prep, and Golden Tricorn would be good. So Quick Launch greatly increases the handling speed and increases the projectile speed too. High velocity rounds increase projectile speed and increase the reload speed. Field prep is where you've got increased ammo reserves and faster reload stow and ready when you're crouching. Finally, golden tricorns, so final blows with the weapon grant bonus damage. And while the buff is active, grenade or melee kills of the same damage type greatly increase its damage and the duration too. Well, I think this is simply one of the best weapons in the game right now, and if you want a decent solar weapon, this one is going to be for you, but let me know in the comments what you think about this rocket-assisted sidearm. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the aberrant action in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget, you can hit that subscribe button down below for even more Destiny 2 content here on Endgamer Express. You can also like the video and share the video too. That would really help me out here on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you very soon. Well, thank you for watching that video, and today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in tier one, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our community Discord and also early access to content. In tier two, that is $4.99 and you get shout outs in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For tier three, that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels, but to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable and in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits 
and backstage only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links, and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.